Happy Wednesday, cohort 61. I hope you all are having a good week so far and that you are keeping up on your assignments. I've seen a lot of really good work posted in our discussion board answering our guiding questions. I'm really excited to see what you guys do next. Your assignment for the rest of the week is to answer the text dependent questions on this short story. Thank you, ma'am. Now, text dependent questions are questions that you need to go back to the text to answer, obviously, but they're deeper meaning questions. They're not the surface level comprehension questions where it's asking you what happened in the story, but these are the deeper meaning questions where it's why did this happen? How does this specific part of the story fit in? What is the theme? What did you learn? So we're going to talk about that today as we go through the questions. First thing you need to do is reread the passage. It's probably been since Monday or Tuesday since you've reread it, since you've read the passage. So in order to really answer the questions well, you want to reread it. I'm not going to reread the whole passage in this video, but if you do want to listen to the read aloud version again, go to our class page, go to the thank you ma'am page, and watch this video here. I would also, what you need to do is download or open up the PDF with the actual passage and the questions in it. That's also on the Thank You Ma'am page. It's down at the bottom right here. If you click that link, it'll bring you to a PDF of the passages. What I am going to do is we're gonna read the questions aloud. And I'm going to kind of give you some hints and tricks of how to figure out the answer to these questions. And then I'm gonna show you where to post your answers. If you come to our Zoom class tomorrow, Thursday, May 14th at 12, you will start answering these questions together. So if you're having a hard time, if there's something you're struggling with, if you want some help, if you wanna see my beautiful face, come to Zoom class. All right. So there's four multiple choice questions and one short answer. We'll do the multiple choice first. So number one, part A. Number one and number two work together. And we'll talk about that. So part A, which statement best expresses the theme of the story? Now theme is something that we talked a little bit about this year. It's what we would have spent more time on at the end of the year. The theme of the story is the message of the story. What did you learn from that story about life? What message did you learn about life that could be applied to your own life? Theme is something where it's not specific to this one story. The theme is going to be something that you could take away and apply to your daily life that's not specific to thank you ma'am it is not specific to roger and mrs luella bates washington jones so what you're want to get, going to want to do as you're reading the story again is think okay what message about life is the author trying to teach me so your four choices are a it can be difficult for children to learn right from wrong when they are bad when there are bad influences around them B, children often don't understand that adults have encountered the same challenges they have. C, people are more likely to learn and practice morality when it is taught to them with kindness. Or D, it's best not to assume the worst in people as situations can easily be misunderstood. So this question, you're gonna to wanna to think about Roger and Miss Luella Washington Bates Jones and how they interacted with each other, especially think about the end of the story and how the way that Mrs. Luella Bates Washington Jones definitely didn't do to Roger what you would expect her to do if somebody was trying to steal her purse. And then for number two, it's part B, which detail from the text best supports your answer to part A? So whatever you said the theme was, 
which line from the text supports your answer to that being the theme? A, you ought to be my son. I would teach you right from wrong. Least I can do right now is to wash your face. Are you hungry? From paragraph 16. B, there's nobody home at my house, said the boy. Paragraph 27. C, I believe you're hungry or been hungry to try to snatch my pocketbook. Paragraph 28. D, after a while, she said, I were young once and I wanted things I could not get. Paragraph 33. Moving on to number three, part A, part four is part B. So again, these two go together. Part A, why does Roger want to thank Mrs. Luella Bates Washington Jones at the end of the story? A, Roger has grown to appreciate the faith that Mrs. Jones has in him. B, Roger was suspicious of Mrs. Jones at first, but she shows him that people can be trustworthy. C, Roger appreciates that she did not report him to the police and want to help and wants to help find his family. Or D, Roger realizes that Mrs. Jones invited him to her home because she is lonely and wants his company. So when I read this question, there's one answer that my mind automatically goes to, but that's not the right answer. What I want you guys to do is like think deeply about this. Like I know you're probably thinking about this as a kid, if you got caught stealing and you got off easy, you'd be thankful because you got off easy. But I want you to think a little bit deeper. It's not just that he's thanking her because she, he got off easy. There's a, another reason why he's thanking her. So that's, again, you got to go back to the text and be thinking about like how that line fits in the story. And then part B. What two details support your answer to this question up here, number three? So you need to pick two answers. A, not with that face, I would not take you nowhere, said the woman. Here I am trying to get home and cook me a bite to eat and you snatch my pocketbook, paragraph 26. B, after he had dried his face and not knowing what else to do, dried it again. The boy turned around. Wondering what what next, the door was open. Paragraph 32. C, Mrs. Jones got up and went behind the screen. The woman did not watch the boy to see if he was going to run now, nor did she watch her purse, which she left behind on the daybed. Paragraph 36. D, the boy took, but the boy took care to sit, where he thought she would easily see him out of the corner of her eye. He did not want to be mistrusted now. Paragraph 36. E. Instead, as they ate, she told him about her job in a hotel beauty shop that stayed open late, what the work was like. Paragraph 40. Or F. Now, here, take this $10 and buy yourself some blue suede shoes. And next time, do not make the mistake of latching onto my pocketbook nor nobody else's. Paragraph 42. Now remember, you need to pick two answers here that support why Roger wanted to thank Mrs. Luella Bates Washington Jones. And the last one is number five. This is a short response, meaning you need to actually write answers. But when I say short response, I mean it's shorter than an essay. There should be a couple, two to three to four, complete sentences. Complete sentences means there is a noun and a verb that work together. And all of the sentences work together. This answer should have some type of detail from the text. How does the interaction between Roger and Mrs. Jones in paragraphs 33 through 41 contribute to the overall meaning of the story? So first thing you want to do is go back and reread paragraphs 33 through 41. And then you want to think, how do those paragraphs contribute to that overall meaning, that overall theme from number one of the story? This is one of our reading standards where we want to analyze how certain parts of a story fit together 
and how they contribute to the overall meaning of the story. So how does Mrs. Luella Washington Bates, Mrs. Luella Bates Washington Jones being kind to Roger and talking about her past and trusting him, how does that contribute to the overall theme of our story? That's what you wanna write about down here. There's gonna be some text evidence, but a lot of this is also gonna be your own opinion. As long as you can back that up, your answer will be correct. As long as it's in complete sentences too. In order to earn credit for this week's English assignments, you need to answer these five questions and you need to have answered the guiding questions that we did earlier in the week. So I'm gonna show you where to put those. First, in order to answer these questions and submit your answers so I can see them, you need to go to Unified Classroom, go to the page Text Dependent Questions, which is probably what you're already on. I'm gonna put the video here when I'm done filming it. And then to film and then to answer the questions, you're gonna to go to this discussion post here on the right, click the pink link, discuss, click new post, and then answer the actual questions right here in the text. Please put the number and then the letter B is, I don't think B is the right answer. So just put the number and the letter. You don't need to actually write out the whole question. And the only one you need to write out the answer for is number five. The other thing you need to do is make sure that you answered the guiding questions as well. Those were questions that you could answer immediately after reading the passage the first time. So you go to the page, thank you, ma'am. And the guiding questions are right here. So you click here and then answer the questions in complete sentences. If you do this, and if you answer the text dependent questions that we just talked about, you will get full credit for this week's ELA assignment. If you have any questions, if you're not sure, if you wanna talk, if you wanna do some questions tomorrow, come to Zoom Thursday at 12. I hope to see you all there. Have a great rest of your week. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Bye.